just thought I'd do a video of the new compact enclosure running. I'm just doing a simple little um, profiling job with some sheet metal adhered to a uh, spoiler block with some double-sided sticky tape that I hope doesn't come loose, but it's no big deal, it's just a simple little job. around the machine and show you some of it. I've got outlet tubes connected here which I found don't block up as quickly as the uh, BSP fittings that I had fitted. They're just large bore rubber tubes glued on with um, instant glue. They um, have a much bigger flow rate. Um, you could just not have any tube at all, but then the coolant and the uh, swarf and chips can flow around and spread underneath onto the um, dovetail slideway. So it's better to have the coolant spouting out away from the outlets. So that's just showing it flowing down there. I've just got a single drain hole there running down into my uh, filter gauze coolant tank, which is on wheels to allow me to roll it around and clean it and get good access to it. This is the uh, monitor stand, which is the same as the one on my uh, first build. It's got a, uh, a screen here to keep any airborne stray chips from landing on the controller or mouse. And um, everything else is pretty standard. I'm just using up an old mini keyboard that's a bit too big for the silicon cover that I've got on my uh, second uh, purchase. So back to the... Uh, mini enclosure running. This is a little 55 inch wide enclosure. It all seems to be draining fine. There's no leaks on the outside. Just waiting for that piece of sheet metal to jump free but it seems to be okay. Um, so you can see the coolant spraying down on the inside of the flap and then running off the tray back inside again internally. electrical cabinet control flap down in case there's any stray coolant going into there. Here's a view of the sliding doors to the side where the drawer slider is. It just hangs down there with a, um, a very simple guide system at the bottom that shouldn't be affected by chips. Oh, one other detail. Under the monitor stand, I just put a little red plastic box, a cutter box, and a USB extension. And this is just a, um, a basic cheap toggle switch. And uh, rather than buying a flex, I've got a piece of um, extension cord and cut the plug off each end and that just connects through and is linked into the same circuit as the um, master stop switch. Yeah that seemed to work okay just um, adhering the sheet metal to a spoiler plate with double sided sticky tape and just cutting out the profile didn't seem to come loose one of the pieces is stainless steel 1.5 thick and the other one is zinc tech about 0.8 thick just made two parts one on each side I know it's not cost effective compared with laser cutting and so on but you know if you only want one or two parts by the time you've gone through the logistics of collection and um, admin and so on it, it may be worth just seeing seeing it yourself <laughs> 